All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up employees without using that payroll setup interview. Okay. So we're going to go ahead into the employee center here and we're going to select a new employee. Would you like assistance? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so you're going to put in the first name, Joe, last name, Smith, what the social security number is. Okay, gender, date of birth, if you want, all the information that you want to fill in here, okay? Then after that, you want to click on the next tab here, address and contact information, fill in address, city, state, zip, phone, email, pager, emergency contact, first and second, and then their pager pin here if you want to do that. Then you have your additional information tab, what's their employee ID number if you have one, What's their bill rate level if they have one? And custom fields, all right, that you have set up for your employee. So you can fill all that in. So once that's done, now you're going to go to this drop down arrow here and go to the next line payroll and compensation information. Okay. So in here, you can set up their payroll. If they have regular pay, you want to put in their here their annual rate. Um, if it's so if we were going to say regular if we're going to say salary you want to put in here their actual salary fifty thousand dollars a year okay if they're hourly we're going to put in there the actual hourly rate so fifteen dollars an hour all right you can select which payroll schedule they fall into and we talk about setting up payroll schedules in another video how frequently do we pay joe what class does Joe fall into? All right. Uh, do do we have a time card data for Joe? Does Joe submit a time card? So we're just going to go ahead and say yes on that because a lot of hourlies we've got to have a time card, right? All right. Um, if you have the HR manager, um, the employee organizer, you can also check your raises and promotions here. Um, but we're not going to do that, get into that right now. That's in a different video on the HR manager. All right, so if Joe has any deductions here, so he's got 401k for employee and he wants to do 10% and a limit of, let's say, $8,000. Okay, that's what his choice is. And then he also has some um, health insurance pre tax of. Um, Let's say $58 a month we've calculated, and it's 58 times 12, so a max of 696. Okay, so those are the standard deductions that are going to come off, and of course you can always alter it on the pay the payroll itself, or on the paycheck itself. Okay, it's employee covered by a qualified pension plan. You can check mark that and get it set up. All right, we're going to set up his tax information, so the filing status, single married, all that fun stuff. We're going to say single, what are his allowances, if he wants any extra withholding, and this is on the federal level. And then uh, is he subject to, you know, which taxes is he subject to? Then you have the state here. What state does he work in? California, if we chose Texas, just has state unemployment. California, whoops, California switches to state and uh, disability or unemployment and disability. Um, they have actually state withholdings here. So what does he want for his withholdings on the state level? Again, if I switch it over to Texas, um, it comes off of here because Texas doesn't have state withholdings. Okay. And then you want to go ahead into other. Texas unemployment isn't set up yet, so I'm just going to keep it in California for now. All right. We're going to go into other. Does they have any additional uh, additional taxes that need to be withheld uh, for Joe? Okay, so you would add those here. Okay, Joe's sick and vacation would be tracked here. Here's a sick setup up top, and we go into this in more detail in another video too. But you can fill all this in here. Okay, the direct deposit information if you want to set up direct deposit. All right. 
So then once you've done all this, filled all this information in, you're going to go ahead and click down to the next uh, area and put in the employment information. Again, if you have the uh, HR manager, you're going to have all this, right? So the hire date, fire date, job details, job description, targeted bonus, all the things to keep you following the labor laws. Okay. So you can fill that in there. And then if you have workers' compensation, again, you can assign a workers' comp code to, the, to this person uh, and make sure and track workers' comp. Okay. So that is a much easier way, in my opinion, on how to set up an employee separate from the payroll setup interview.